Good morning. Here is the news at 10. First, for highlights. Lagos State Government moves to integrate Ikorudu Heritage Trail into a list of United Nations educational, scientific and cultural organization recognized sites. Federal Government proposes national identification number tax for foreigners. On the foreign scene, United States allies call for 21-day ceasefire as Israeli strikes in Lebanon continue. And in sport, Nigeria to face Rwanda in semi-final of women's under-19 under Cricket World Cup qualifier. Now the details, I am Dele Agadumo. The Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture has moved to integrate three of the Corridor Heritage Trail into a tentative list of 14 sites recognized by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Toke Benson Awoyinka, stated this when she led a high-powered delegation of ministry officials and some French investors to meet with key stakeholders in the Gorodo Division. Benson Awoyinka and the team also met with the six of us of the six major towns of the Ikorodu Kingdom in the palace of the Ainobure of Ikorodu, Oba Kabiru Shotobi. The commissioner, while speaking during the meeting, appealed to the traditional rulers and their chiefs to trust the process of what the state government wants to do because it will be for the benefit and upliftment of the Gurudu division of the state. Benson and sought their support, adding that the Ikorodu Division has a lot of heritage sites and traditional festivals that can be documented and calendarized to boost tourism in Ikorodu town. The Lagos State Government, through the Office of Disability Affairs, has urged service providers in the disability community to continue to cater to the needs of children with disabilities, as every child deserves to grow up in a safe, supportive and nurturing environment. The General Manager of the Lagos State Office for Disability Affairs, Lasoda Adenike Oyetunde Lawal, stated this at a day stakeholders forum with service providers in the disabilities cluster held at Agidimbi Ikeja with the theme management of the home ensuring the protection of children with disabilities. Oyetunde Lawal said the step became imperative as managing a home for a child with disabilities requires additional thought, planning and unwavering commitment where their self-esteem and confidence are constantly built. Our mandate is to create, enforce, and supervise policies, and the rights of persons with special needs are fully recognized and protected. While the home is central to their protection, we must also recognize the crucial role of community support. No family can thrive in isolation. We need to collaborate with community organizations, support groups, and local services to provide a broader network of care for our children. The Lasada boss commended Governor Bajiji Sanwolo for ensuring that Lagos remains a state where inclusion is embraced and the rights of persons with special needs are fully recognized and protected. Earlier in her paper presentation, President of Down Syndrome Association of Nigeria, Rose Modi, urged stakeholders to shun discrimination and keep working together to ensure that every child, regardless of ability, receives the love care and opportunities to become useful citizens in the society. Over 500 residents of Lagos have benefited from a free medical outreach organized by the Eco Club as part of activities to mark the 50th anniversary of the Social Cultural Club. The free medical outreach carried out in conjunction with special assistance on finance to the Speaker House of Representatives, Lukman Lawal, offered Lagosians free tooth removal and dental treatments, cardiovascular tests, optometric treatment and free eye glasses, diabetic tests and drugs, blood pressure tests, prostate tests, body mass index checks and comprehensive medical consult consultation. Medical Director of Eco Club Health Post, Oluwale Sanda, Describe the medical outreach as timely and crucial, especially to vulnerable groups, urging Lagosians to embrace the state health insurance packages that offer affordable health care 
for people of all ages. Uh, outreach like this are beneficial. And uh, you see, many people cannot afford to go to hospital at times. It has gone a long way to help our members, especially. We should scale it up. And scaling it up means that uh, Lagosia should be aware of their health. Also, Special Assistant on Finance to the Speaker, House of Representatives, Lukman Lawal, who was represented by Ulura Mikol, said the medical outreach demonstrated his commitment to the wellness of his constituents. Beneficiaries ranging from children, women, the elderly, and paramilitary personnel, among others, commended the leadership of the Eco Club for bringing the medical outreach to their localities. Welcome to development. It's good. At least it, um, it keeps us abreast of our health status. We should continue and go um, to do to bless them. My advice is that this type of uh, occasion should be a regular something that should be going on here. So that to keep all the elders and the middle class uh, healthy. It is fantastic. I will give kudos to the president of the club. He should keep it up. He should continue with this kind of thing. In the same vein, the club organized a sports day to engage members and well wishes in fitness and locomotives activities to promote wellness. The sports day featured indoor and outdoor sports such as squash, tennis, billiards, swimming, football, among others. The Ebony State Government has sealed four mining companies over non-compliance with the dictates of community development agreements in the state. Commissioner for Solid Minerals and Natural Resources, Chidi Oya, who led a joint task force operation to seal the companies, said the miners were given time to get their acts together and comply with the agreement, but failed. Oya said the site would remain shut until the companies followed the government's directives. He showed the people that the state government would continue to monitor mining activities to ensure all companies followed the rule. It would interest you to know that the agreement was meant to ensure mining companies developed communities where they operated and are located. Lagos State Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture and Sterling Bank invites you to the World Tourism Day 2024 celebration with the theme Tourism and Peace. Come experience our rich heritage with lots of exciting activities and free gifts. Please visit sorista.com forward slash World Tourism Day to register and get your ticket. Entry is free but requires registration. Date is September 27th at Murio Kuala Park, Victoria Island, Lagos. Time is from 10 a.m. So mark your calendars for a day of fun and culture. One Tourism Day is organized by Lego State Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture and Sterling Bank. See you there. the rest of the stories, the Federal Executive Council, FEC, is proposing an amendment to the National Identity Management Commission Act No. 23 of 2007 to allow for foreigners living in the country to be issued the National Identification Number. The FEC also proposed the Economy Stabilization Bill to pave way for the taxing of foreigners living and working in Nigeria. Special Advisor to the President on Information and Strategy, Bayo Ononuga, said this while briefing State House correspondents at the Asurok Villa, Abuja. The two proposed legislations are aimed to expand the scope of registrable persons to include foreign individuals with a taxable presence or taxable source of income in Nigeria and make provisions for the mandatory use of national identification number for transactions which are relevant for tax administration and for related matters. The federal government has approved the increase of core members' monthly allowance to 77,000 Naira, effective July 2024. According to a statement signed by the NYC's Acting Director of Information and Public Relations, Caroline Embu, the approval was contained in a letter from the National Salaries, Incomes and Wages Commission dated September 25, 2024, and signed by the Chairman Ekmo Nta in line with the enactment of the National Minimum Wage Amendment Act 2024. 
Before the increase, school members were paid a monthly allowance of 33,000 naira following an upward review of the minimum wage to 30,000 naira in 2019. Now to foreign news. The United States, United Kingdom and other allies have called for a 21-day ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah. The allies said the fighting posed an unacceptable risk of a broader regional escalation. The call comes as the Israeli military says it hit around 75 Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon and the Beka region overnight. The Lebanese Health Ministry says 13 people have been killed by Israeli airstrikes overnight, while more than 550 have been killed since Monday. Hezbollah, backed by Iran, says it is acting in solidarity with Palestinian, while with Palestine's. Hezbollah, backed by Iran, says it is acting in solidarity with Palestinians, while Israel says it aims to remove Hezbollah's threat and return displaced people back to northern Israel. In our sports, Nigeria's women's under-19 cricket team, the junior female Yellow Greens, will on Saturday face Rwanda in one of the semi-finals of the 2025 ICC Women's T20 Under-19 World Cup Africa Qualifier Division 1. Having qualified with a game to spare on Monday, the junior female Yellow Greens on Wednesday cemented the top spot in Group B of Division 1 with a comprehensive 86-run win over Malawi. Nigeria is past Malawi as Captain Lucky Paiti won the toss for the first time in the competition and elected to bat first. Nigeria's semi-final opponent, Rwanda, has been in good shape at the tournament, reaching the last four by winning the opening two games in Group A and with the game to spare as well, but finished second in the group after losing by 46 runs to Uganda. The winner of the qualifying tournament will pick Africa's second ticket to the World Cup in Malaysia after South Africa had booked a place as one of the top finishers from the last World Cup. And that ends our news at 10. Just before we go, speed thrills but kills. Please do not drive beyond specified speed limits. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, Extra Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Soul administration empowered 225 military officers' wives? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, try the highlights of the major stories. The Mili Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture has moved to integrate three of the Corridor Heritage Trail into a tentative list of 14 sites recognized by the United States Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. UNESCO. The Federal Executive Council FEC is proposing an amendment to the National Identity Management Commission Act No. 23 of 2007 to allow for foreigners living in the country to be issued the National Identification Number. We also told you that the United States, United Kingdom and other allies have called for a 21-day ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah. And in sports, Nigeria's women's under-19 cricket team, the junior female Yellow Greens, will on Saturday face Rwanda in one of the semi-finals of the 2025 ICC Women's T20 Under-19 World Cup Africa Qualifier Division 1. For contact to the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Abiola Fabolagun. I am Dele. Good morning. Thank you for listening.